What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to we're looking at an awesome piece of software known as Phone Rescue, which does rescue your phone in certain situations, but also does a lot more. This video is a sponsored video and it is brought to you guys by the makers of the software, also known as iMobi. So of course, as you guys know, this is your typical piece of software that can basically recover information should you lose it in case, I don't know, you accidentally restore or an update goes wrong or any of those types of things. Now there are a few other interesting features in here, for example, you can actually restore data from an iCloud backup or an iTunes backup and even if that iTunes backup is actually damaged this thing will be able to recover certain bits of information maybe not all of it but a decent chunk of it aside from the recovery options you can also fix any errors that were caused on your iOS device like maybe the device is stuck on the Apple logo or maybe the boot logo has turned I don't know hot pink or maybe your phone won't turn on at all and so that might be because of a system error you might just have a black screen of death and you're gonna be really scared you're gonna lose data so in that case this might be the way to go so how do you use it well first of all turn off turn your device into airplane mode then of course prohibit any apps from running in the background also turn off iTunes and other programs on your device itself and then of course avoid using any system cleaning software and of course obviously keep your device connected so we're gonna go ahead and check out the fully activated version. As you can see, the UI is fairly simple. Here is a recover from iOS device option. It shows all the different scenarios you would potentially use this in because you know, it can get confusing. Your device might be going haywire and you're like, okay, which tool do I use? Well, here you go, common scenarios. And then of course, it will give you clear and concise instructions on how to go ahead and do all of these. So there's recover from iOS device, recover from iTunes backup, recover from iCloud, and finally, the iOS repair tools option. I'm actually going to go backwards and start with this one. Let's go ahead and click it. And I'm simply going to hit the next option. And here it gives me two different modes. Please select the mode to repair your iOS system. Now, unfortunately, my iOS system is not broken at the moment, so I can't go and fully do this. But I will show you what exactly each option does. So the standard mode basically makes it so any... I don't know, maybe like your device is stuck on the Apple logo, recovery mode loop, a black screen, maybe accidentally tried to jailbreak it. This should go ahead and be able to fix all of that. Your iOS device will be restored to normal status after repairing. And of course, it will be updated to the latest version. So keep that in mind. Then of course, there's the advanced option. Now in this case, it'll fix things without losing any data. So it'll do the similar things, but this time it'll try to maintain and keep all the data that's already on the device in case you don't have a backup or maybe you lost the backup or anything of that sort. So yeah, if I needed to do that, I'd simply hit next and it would go and process that request. But with that said, I actually don't. So we're actually gonna go and talk about more about backups. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to recover maybe from an iCloud backup. Here, of course, maybe your device is lost, you have your data saved on iCloud, and you simply can't get a hold of it. And then, of course, no iTunes backup is available. Now, the frustrating thing with iTunes and iCloud backups is that you can't necessarily decipher them, you know? Maybe your contacts are stuck in there, maybe you got some pictures. You have to restore the entire thing to get certain images back. What if you only want one video back? Well, then this is probably the way to go. You simply hit next, sign in over here, and it will show you a few options. Let me sign in real quick. As you guys can see, it is requesting data, and here are a few backups that I actually have on iCloud. As you guys can see, I have my iPad, then of course the dates that these backups were created, and of course how large each backup is. Now if I were to go and restore it, I don't know, maybe I'll choose the small one, I'm not sure how much I'm going to get back. But you know what, I'm going to choose this one, I'm going to hit download, it's going to request the data and download the backup directly onto here. I have a relatively fast internet connection, so this should not take too, too, too long. What I'm worried about is whether it'll be able to find anything in a backup up that's only around 25 megabytes with that said let's go ahead and check out if it found anything data comp comparison by comparing the data on your connected device with the selected iCloud you can easily find missing data uh, I don't need to compare right now so we're gonna hit scan and it actually did find a little bit of information this is pretty awesome as you guys can see, it actually recovered some of my contacts, which I'm not gonna show. And of course, some of my Safari history, I'm also not gonna show. And finally, there is the calendar itself here. This is some information that I could probably easily show you guys. So here you go, here's some things that were on my calendar at certain points, Labor Day, April Fool's Day, and a bunch of other things. So as you guys can see, if this backup was a little bit bigger, it would probably have my call history, messages, voicemail, um, Safari bookmarks, photos, and tons and tons of other things. Everything from your thumbnails to voice memos, app documents, app photos, WhatsApp, even line information can be recovered using this I don't even use lines so I don't think it recover any of that but if you need maybe only certain things back 
uh, for example, right now, I only want certain bits of my calendar back. You can actually sync it directly to your device or you can actually download it to your computer. And should I choose to do that, as you can see, it says recovering your device data. Please wait. It works extremely fast. Actually, this is faster than other recovery software I've test tested before. And we're going to simply open this folder and it should open the folder right up. There you go. And here you go. It actually exported my calendar, contacts, and Safari history just like that. How easy is that? Now we're actually going to jump back about a bajillion times. I don't know what just happened. Okay. So as you guys can see, the second option is, of course, to recover from an iTunes backup. This one is a little bit more straightforward. You simply hit next. It searches your computer for an iTunes backup, which unfortunately most people who uh, lose their device have iCloud backups these days, not iTunes backups. But once again, it'll just scan that and it will give me all the different information. Only scan backup. And here you go. Here's all the things I could potentially recover. You know what? Let's just go ahead and attempt to recover it all. Now, unfortunately, from the iTunes backup, we were only able to recover some app documents. But you know what? That's interesting enough. I didn't have too, too much in that backup anyway. It was done right after I restored my device uh, for the sake of this video. So there you go. That's an iTunes backup. Most of you guys are going to have iTunes backups that are at least a gigabyte or too big and probably have tons and tons of photos in there. So this is a relatively easy way to do that. Finally, if you want to recover from your iOS device, now this option seems a little bit silly, but trust me, it could be useful in certain situations. For example, maybe you lost your data due to a mistaken deletion, maybe you forgot the screen passcode. Regardless, you simply hit next and it scans your device for certain information. And just like that, it will start analyzing the device and show you what you can recover. So you guys, once again, it would just show me the same old information, my contacts, photos, I'd be able to recover it, maybe send it back to my device or so on and so forth. And of course, that's about it in terms of this software. There's repair tools you can recover from iCloud, iTunes, and of course your iOS device. So basically, no matter what information you lost, there's got to be something in there that you're able to recover using this. So go ahead and check it out below. For you guys watching this who are in dire situations, this is probably a pretty solid time to go ahead and use this and see what you can potentially recover. For you guys watching this as just a casual video, maybe you need it, maybe you don't, but maybe it's a good idea to keep it just in case you ever do need it. With that said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If so, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.